Welcome back to another Power BI 3 minute tip. If you're liking these quick Power BI tutorials, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell. Today we're going to be talking about a way in which you can organize your measures into something called a measure table. Measures don't really reside on a single table. You might think that maybe a measure that's devoted to sales would have to fit on the sales table, but that's not actually, actually true. They're totally independent of tables themselves. So you can see here on the right that I have five measures on my sales table, as you can see by the calculator, and I have three on the products table, and they're kind of just getting mixed up everywhere. There's actually a cool little trick we can do and keep our measures all organized. If you've watched my videos before, you may have seen me do this because I tend to do this a lot, but it's a really great way in which we can really organize those measures. So the way we do it is we come to enter data. So we create a new table just from data we enter. We can throw whatever we want in here, just have a dummy table. And let's name this measure table. Go ahead and enter that in and load that table into the data model. And there we see it on the right, we have measure table and just our column one for data we just had. And from this table, you can actually just right click and add a new measure. And let's just call this um, sales total. And let's just sum the sales, sales amount. You can sum that sales amount from the sales table even though this isn't on the sales table because measures are completely independent of those tables. So just to show you that that works in action, let's go ahead and create a card and throw in this sales total measure. And we can see an actual summed total where if we did this on the sales table, let's do uh, sales table total. And we'll just do the exact same sales, sales amount. Just to really nail the point um, in that we don't actually have to do a sales measure from the sales table. So sales table total throwing that into the fields fields well we get the exact same the exact same number so that kind of just kind of nails the point in so it's really cool and if you want to make this look a little bit better since we've added at least one measure or column now we can get rid of this column one and now we have our table devoted just to measures and we can just build it out from here best practice is to basically name the um, name the measure with the name of the table that the the measure is bringing data in from and then maybe give it an underscore and what it's doing or maybe just have camel case like you see here but it's kind of up to you but this is just a way in which we can keep our measures organized and not have them all over the place so if you like this tip go ahead and subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next video